you're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Aaron Twitchin. And I said as sweet as the offer was, that's not what I envisioned when I said I wanted 12 dozen rosebuds. <laughs> okay. oh, hello and welcome hello. to Chewing the Cud and our Valentine's themed show. This week I'm joined by someone who once described himself as geriatric millennial. <laughs> it's Aaron Twitchin. Hello. Hello. Once. I think it was like literally last week. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it. I love being a geriatric millennial. What is a geriatric millennial? Um, someone who... Well, because the millennial bracket's so big, isn't uh -huh. it? I'm an early millennial. What is that? So I'm at the very beginning of the millennial. Oh, no, you're a geriatric millennial then. Yeah. yeah. The early makes it sound like you're younger. The geriatric <laughs> That's millennial why I've is... chosen that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an early millennial. No, geriatric millennial is like, I'm still trying to be cool, but I just can't handle TikToks. It feels like young people shouting at me. And okay, I just, cool. I can't bear it. So what have you got for us this week? This week, I am talking about a celebrity who's checking in on all our mental health and having a romantic themed game to play along with. It's not me saying that, so that's interesting. Um, and that's before we get up close and personal with Erin in Spotlight. On screen now you can see all of our social media. Just search for at the Could TV. And as people who have popped up in our comments go along the bottom of the screen, it's time for Mike in the Buzz. <laughs> Children, do you have children in your life? Oh my God, I, was gonna, I thought you were asking me if I had children. <laughs> no, 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 I was in your like, life. Not that I've accidentally uh, known. I'm, yeah, I'm, um, I have my two nibblings, so I have like a niece uh -huh. and a nephew. Cute. But I'm, I really love being an uncle. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be a gunkle or like a funkle. I want to be a hunkle. Okay. I want to be like a hunky uncle. Nice. That's my aim. Um, okay. No, I'm obsessed with the kids because. I get to be fun and crazy, mm -hmm. and, and all the back after yeah, this. all the kids in the family love me because I'll get drunk and go on a trampoline and think I'm a hero, <laughs> and then nearly break my neck. And I don't know, they go they go crazy for that. They do indeed. I've got some nephews in, in my life, um, but so a seven year old, you get a seven year old giving you a drawing, it can be sweet. It can. It can. Is it of you? No, no, this isn't me, thankfully. OK. Um, this is a story of um, someone whose child brought home a lovely a Valentine's Day card written oh. for them, for the, her, and, uh, her and her husband. OK. Um, and there's, there's been a bit of a, a controversy about this, this picture. <gasps> oh, I see it. <laughs> what do you see? Um, there's a dog on the lead with a hat on. Yeah, and uh -huh. jumping over a Henry Hoover. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm... You're, you're one on the far right uh -huh. with the lully yellow shorts uh -huh. and has, has, has got something that I don't want to assume the gender of this um, person, mm -hmm. but they have something that might suggest it it's is... It's a dog treat. A, a dog treat, yeah. It's a dog treat. Well, it's a treat for all of us. <laughs> um, if I saw someone walking down the street with that, I'd be like, what a treat! <laughs> Those shorts are shorting and I'm happy about it. Good for you, hun. You go put your treat out to the masses. Uh -huh. Also panting and wanting to, yeah. Um, I mean, I'd be more inclined to think it was a print if it were grey sweatpants. Yeah. The but yellow ones, shorts, but... yellow shorts are the new grey sweatpants. Are they really? Everyone's doing it, yeah. I did not know that. Above the knee, this is a queer person. <laughs> Straight people <laughs> down to the knee. Look where those knees are. That has been put in there deliberately, showing it all. I actually also <laughs> think this is fake. Fake news. You think this is fake? I think fake? it's conspiracy. I think people are doing this now, aren't they, where they can see that like, if you draw a picture or something, mm -hmm. it can go all over the internet. I think that treat is too biologically accurate <laughs> the lining that is i've seen that treat before i know exactly <laughs> whose treat that you know is. who that is paul from <laughs> i know that was lockdown seems like a distant memory what what is lockdown, lockdown. what is what is this it's, it's where they stopped people leaving the house i, I don't recall i, you, I you don't, don't think i missed that, that one no. <laughs> Yes, we all remember. <laughs> well, I'm still going on about it, though. No. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, did, did you do any baking during lockdown? Was that? I was absolutely terrible at it. What? Oh, cinnamon buns. Cinnamon buns. <laughs> and they look like they've been absolutely jizzed on. Yes, I do vaguely remember. Yeah. Some people got a pet during lockdown. Right. Which was a different choice. Yeah. Um, and this is Jessica. Um, OK. Someone that basically got a little hamster and called her Hammington. Oh, that's cute, Hammington. Cute, yeah. What a regal hamster that I know. is. Um, sadly, after Hammington died, because um, they don't last long, she had him um, stuffed and turned into a pole dancer. Oh, my God. So there he is. She's killing it. Look at the money she's getting. This is like J-Lo hustlers all over. Uh-huh. Pink G-string. 
pole, dollar bills. Also, she is skinny. Like, look at that hand. She's a rake. <laughs> She's Mariah levels. Been so dead for a while. <laughs> I'm, do you know what? As uh, So I used to be in a circus, mm -hmm. and I've done a bit of pole. And, like, what I will say about this is great idea reasonably well executed but disappointing that she's just on her feet like where's mm -hmm. the invert where's the hook where's the you know sexy little martini glass well, only got one foot on yeah. i mean i think she you go if you're going go you know, big go, go big. in okay 175 pounds for that monstrosity what would you think that's a reasonable or unreasonable do you think i think that's an high? unreasonable amount what too high that's too high no look at the craft in that if the, the quality was higher yeah but that no, that is good. That will. What's that, I mean, that it hand depends how like being like, "Hey, girl, hey." <laughs> That's the, like present. You could then easily dress it up in a nightgown, and she could be Miss World. <laughs> you know, like um, Miss Congeniality, uh -huh. where she walks with the trophy. With the pole and, and no, the, not the trophy. The I am the what? Well, I'm the lady. I'm in New York. I burn brightly all the time. Who am I? Who am I? Lady Liberty. Oh, okay. Is that what she's called? What's Statue that big Liberty. statue? It's Statue famous. Liberty. Statue of Liberty. Yeah, yeah. I know my shit. <laughs> um, I think this is good. I lo I actually now think we should have more taxidermied small animals. Okay. Like I would like to see taxidermied snakes. I want to see, like, like, just if you find a pigeon on the road, then that should be done up to be more character based. Okay. Animals. I think this is good. And are those real dollar bills as well? Because no, that adds not, up the value. They're not real dollar bills. I think it's good. Look how yeah. gorge and shiny her eyes are. Like, this is, I mean, if you look at the facial expression, it's slightly like it's trapped. It's going to be struggling <laughs> it's, forever. It's a hamster face, yeah. The glossy of the eyes. Like, this is this is, this is this hamster young in its youth being celebrated. My granny recently passed, and I, I'm getting ideas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And if you feel like um, stuffing a loved one, why not share it with us on at the Could TV on social media? And that takes us to our story of the week. Now, Valentine's Day is upon us. Yes. Um, do you have any exciting plans? Um, I think I'm doing a radio record, actually. Nice. Which maybe I should have kept it free. Or do you think maybe that radio presenter is trying to seduce maybe me? Maybe they're trying to seduce you. That would be good. I'm mm. looking forward to it. No, not particularly. No. Okay. But I do love Valentine's Day. I love love. Yeah, me too. I've got a bottle of wine planned. Uh, are you kingering or...? Are you... <laughs> <laughs> not, not until after. Not until wine. after it's been drunk. Um, but yeah, and this is a story about a gentleman in America who was a bit bored on his Valentine's Day. Yeah. Um, and found a, a small alligator, basically. And so was playing with the small alligator and just, just you know, playing with his mouth. There he is. Alligator playing with his mouth. Just like you, know, you do with a dog and you can like play fight. Just play fighting with an, al with an alligator. Um, and then he got a bit bored with doing that and said, no. I wonder what would happen if I did that with a testicle. No. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> and there he is. The alligator went, nibble, nibble. <laughs> No, I, why, why would you, why would you do that? Why would you film that? People like that just don't, I don't understand what is it, no. I absolutely am terrified of alligators. I absolutely hate okay. them. We went to Florida on holiday mm -hmm. and my sister loves alligators. I, I just felt like I was just being traumatised for the whole week. The, well, the one thing I said while we were on holiday was like, I do not want mm. to see an alligator. I was too scared to go running around the holiday camp that we were at because I was pretty sure one of them would get me, even though there was no water. Okay. Like, I just did not want to see an alligator. I got taken to alligator crazy gold <laughs> with the with like plastic ones and baby ones so like ones like that and do you know what they're evil little shits and i could see in their eye because they're only babies at that point yeah. but they're looking you like if you mock them or whatever i'm thinking they're gonna get you yeah. later on and yeah then, five years time i'm gonna eat you little, yeah. that's why i'm not going back yeah. right they've got grudges and i'm not i'm not bearing that i've got enough grudges where i'm where i live right and like they just and then she, not only that she then wanted to go to alligator world i had to drive her to alligator i didn't want to see an alligator and i had to drive her to alligator world i didn't get out of the car <laughs> well, i'm not risking it oh no i'll meet you around the back you can get out you can get back in when you're ready i'm not i don't want anything to do it. so people like this i know i think fair game i hope that alligator got the whole thing <laughs> I, it was juicy i hope he popped it i hope it was as painful as possible for that man because he doesn't know you don't get to tease the i hate them they're evil i don't want to ever see one again 
I'm glad that this picture is awful quality, because <laughs> otherwise I'd be struggling. But I hope he, I hope that alligator remembers and stalks and hunts down. I would like, like to Captain see that. Hook. Yeah. Like yes, chasing around for the other Exactly yeah. like that. I want to see that movie, and I want the alligator played by Octavia Spencer. <laughs> okay. I want it to be like Ma. But she's an alligator chasing this one man to get the other testicle. What was Hook getting the other hand? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Well, now we go. This is the adult version. That'll be all over Pornhub before the end of the week now. Alligator porn. That's, That's you've always story. got to think of new storyline. <laughs> I was I was gonna say it was a friend, and then I was gonna say I read an article and actually I realised I saw a TikTok or like I read a tweet okay. about a girl, I think she was a comedian, and her like day job mm -hmm. was writing scripts for pornos. Okay, nice. And she said the hardest part is coming up with new stories. So if she if you're listening, <laughs> alligator porn. I think that could be a big one. That is very niche indeed, but that's all from the buzz this week. Well, thanks for that, Mike. Um, <laughs> I can't get over alligator porn. Um, coming up after this short break, Aaron brings us a look at some celebrity news in the showbiz. <laughs> it's so disturbing watching blood come out of a TV screen. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Aaron and Mike. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with Aaron. Welcome to the showbiz section. Um, how are you with um, body contour underwear? What are you trying to say? I'm just saying that that's not natural <laughs> body, mate. Surely that is a corset <laughs> underwear. Let, just one wire goes and we'll all lose an eye, all right? Right, so yeah. Buttons flying off everywhere. Um, are you familiar with Kim Kardashian's yeah. Skims range? I am aware of, of her... her trying to make people feel better about their bodies by making money. You wanted to say that I am aware of her work and then you realise she doesn't really work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say, I'm like, aware of what else she doesn't do anything. Well, it's hugely successful, her skims, which is an underlying wear that comes in a range of colours and, like, body... It nips you in, it pushes you out, it makes you look however you want to look. Okay. Um, new does model... Does make you six foot? Um, oh, my God. I don't know if it does make you six foot, but I keep getting adverts on Instagram for socks that have got an extra inch in yeah, the heel. Don't, don't do them. Why me? Well, I'm the they... perfect height. <laughs> like, I never hit my head on doors, but old ladies always ask me to take things off shelves. OK. Why would I need How an extra inch? I don't know. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like that Mary Poppins thing. So I stand next to the thing and goes, Practically simply perfect. perfect. Every way, yeah. yeah, not in every way, just that way. Oh, OK. I'm humble enough, <laughs> even though my website is iloveaaron.co.uk. It's humble, though, because it's not .com. Okay. Because um, I'm not worldwide, I'm just national. Um, Kim Kardashian is a new uh, model spokesperson okay. for the Valentine's limited edition range, mm. and it's Lana Del Rey. Oh. Look at her, the snack you didn't know you want, giving absolutely nothing in the face. Um, <laughs> Dead behind the eyes, I believe the phrase is. I'm surprised that Lana Del Rey is doing this because she's, I didn't think she was a big one for promotional stuff, mm -hmm. going out there talking about her wares. And isn't she working in, like, a burger joint? <laughs> what? Have you heard that? No. Oh, she works in, like, a Wendy's, just part-time. No, I'm not, <laughs> even, I'm not even making this up. What? Just because she, she wanted to. So, yeah, and, like, her fans sometimes go. And she, yeah, she, she just serves burgers and stuff. Is she not a well-renowned, like, recording artist? Yeah, she doesn't do it for the money and that. She just does it because, like, she thinks it's nice. It's a bit of a lark. <laughs> so why she's done this, I don't really know. But it's very good timing on the Kardashians' part because it was announced two days after she'd been nominated for a Grammy or two. Oh. Um, I mean, she looks very lovely. I'm just very surprised. I didn't think Lana Del Rey was the one who'd be selling underwear. Why has she been shot? Because it's Ham Valentine. She's been, sh she, well, she, what happened was w she knew she was coming in for this section, but okay. she accidentally walked in during the opening VT ah, and so. they shot her. <laughs> and that was her blood that you saw there. Oh, right. Okay, more so, yeah. into small hearts. Yeah. Poor Lana. Oh, but, I mean, it, it, it looks very nice lingerie type thing. I'm not sure why she's wearing a black veil. Um, Is that because... considered sexy for heterosexuals? Death to the body shape that's not yours. I just don't. I don't get body shaping underwear. I can get it. I see it. 
I mean, I've tried. I've tried. It just doesn't work for me. <laughs> I, I don't get it. <clears throat> might start like buying shop mannequins, mm-hmm. cutting them up, and then just putting them underneath my clothes okay. because then you doesn't have to pick a poke at you, and you can have the perfect bottom, perfect chest. I think there's a market for that. I do too. That would be much better, better than my 30% offer of gym memberships keep getting through. You know, like, <laughs> you just go to the gym, <laughs> exactly. you just put it on, take it off. And then at least, like, if they're having a feel underneath, it will still feel good, rather than okay. just feel like elastic. Um, so it is Valentine's. It is, yeah. Celebrity couples. Mm-hmm. So people who are coupling up. So our first couple, well, do you know what? This is a good one. We'll see whether you actually know who these people are. OK. Um, I did know these first two. So we've got Barry Keegan and Sabrina Carpenter. The heating drinks come out of bathtubs. He, I haven't seen it. Have you watched Have you it? not watched Saltburn? No, but I feel like I have because everyone goes on about it. <laughs> like, I'm very happy it. for Sophie ellis Betts. She seems like the only real winner in this. I oh, know, we all win. Do we? We all win. Especially, you get to see him dancing around in the nude with a very lovely penis. Two oh, murder on the dance floor. I don't think it does it for me. What I will say is this man's stylist has been working overtime. Uh-huh. Um, Sabrina Carpenter, are you familiar? I, I know who Karen Carpenter is. Or was. No relation, <laughs> sadly. Um, Sabrina Carpenter, she's a bit like, um, she's a bit, she's kind of like Taylor Swifty, but maybe like a bit more poppy. She's a big song um, riding up the charts at the moment called Feather. Just finally made it into top 40 on Billboard. Okay. It is a bop. She murders men in the video. She's she's serving Christina Aguilera 10 years later. Okay. Um, no men were harmed in this. <laughs> the thing that surprises me most about this is he's not gay. No. Dress like that? Stylist might be. Straight men have got to stop tricking us. It's not fair, okay? If you don't want to be seduced by me, don't dress like this. It's not, it's not, <laughs> this is a public broadcast <laughs> message. I cannot be responsible for my actions if you're out here baiting. <laughs> Although, the fact that he's dating Sabrina Carpenter makes me think he might be gay even more. Uh, uh, Joe Jonas, famous, the, everyone's fourth favourite Jonas brother. I only know that one, I think. No, Nick Jonas. You know Nick Jonas. Do I? Okay. He's the hot one. OK. I think they're all a go. There's not no, one. I'd, I'd pull back not the middle go, oh, one. No, not, not the one. other one. Joe Jonas is hot, but he's not a nice person, is he? He's dating this lady here, Stormy Bree, whoever Who? she may be. <laughs> Stormy Bree. I don't believe she's she, a drag queen. Is she related to Angry Cheese? No, she's she's next week's Storm coming in, actually. She'll be making Storm her way through Lancashire Brie. and taking trampolines with her. Storm Brie. <laughs> Lancashire Cheese, I like the reference there. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's dating Joe Jonas. Well, good luck to her because he's still going through his divorce with um, that bird that used to be in the X-Men and maybe... Um, what's the one that everyone loved with the dinosaurs? Not the dinosaurs, dragons. I couldn't bear to watch it. Game okay. of Thrones. Oh, Game of Thrones. Uh, I think she might have been in that. Oh, OK. Uh, Sophie Turner, that's her name. All right. Um, anyway, he said she was a terrible mum and that she was always running off, but how he knew that, because he was on tour for a year, who knows. So he's still trying to get custody with his kids, meanwhile, banging this lady. If they have a child, can we call the, the child Belle? Keep you on the cheese, baby Belle. Oh, very good. I didn't get that for the longest time and it was a very clever joke, so I apologise for my ignorance. That's okay. Do we call baby Belle a cheese or is it merely a plastic? It's a cheese. It's in the cheese aisle. You're allowed to eat 12 of them if you've eaten cheese. I saw uh, the other day, this isn't related to this, (laughs) sorry, the showbiz section is very much going off course. I know someone that's got a non-baby Belle, like a huge (laughs) Belle. And apparently that's the size that they used to be like massive like the size of an ass right and then they took and then <laughs> they were what? better more consumable small so they made them babies and like but you can get a big bell i'm not like, like a bell end it's true google it go to your local sainsbury's or i don't know where you got it from uh, it was just the fact you could get a huge bell you uh, oh just... <laughs> i don't know one of these things uh we've got one final couple have we got time um yeah. selena gomez and benny blanco who is benny blanco i think he's a dj oh, i don't know oh, he's, he's, I don't... he's not for us he's not jerry <laughs> do you know That's what i mean but said. selena gomez i can still get on board with because she's a disney girl she does make the occasional bop what I love most about Selena Gomez is she's in that murder, Only Murders in the Building, mm-hmm. which is very good. And they keep referring to her constantly as young and hip. But she's over 30. Like, I don't That's know how young. she is still playing <laughs> the young and hip one. But there she is. Um, she used to date Justin Bieber, didn't she? 
Oh, she did. She was very she upset about that. Um, and the weekend, she stated all all the bad douches. Um, <laughs> another couple, homos. Uh-huh. We've got Troy Savan and Manu Rios. They have oh. been seen groundbreakingly having dinner. Oh. And this was a news story. There they are. Look at Troy Savan. <laughs> Didn't he look lovely there with those eyelashes? I was going to say, and that he's doing a very really good impression of um, Slater Gomez. Well, Attitude, Man, but, uh, Attitude Magazine very unkindly called it Battle of the Twinks, which uh-huh. I'm pretty sure Troy Savan is nearly middle-aged. But he's never mind. He's 30, isn't he? Exactly. When is Twink deaf? When you look like that, who cares? Exactly. They've only actually had dinner. I don't know how my Attitude magazine spun this into a huge story, but maybe they were just surprised that gays ate. <laughs> but looking at that, they're not even eating. <laughs> they're not even eating. There's just bottles and wine on there. There's grape in wine. I was going to say, they're, they're doing that whole necklace flirty thing, though. Oh, that is very necklace flirty thing. I and like this person here who's doing their wah, wah, shadow dinosaur <laughs> That impression. person's going, I want that bottle of wine. <laughs> I mean, yeah... They're just having dinner, let them. I don't actually think they're dating. I think they're just bitching about lads. Do you know what I mean? They're uh-huh. sharing details of the many, many cocks they've had. <laughs> or not ads. I don't know why, that was felt slut shaming. No, Have as many cocks as you want, kids. Yeah. So don't worry about it. Exactly. Um, neither of them are eating, though, so... So it's not, yeah, no plates I know. There. So can't even work out who's bottoming. Yeah. I mean, that's not the most important thing, is it? They can... Yeah. I don't know. You pick these stories, Mike. I don't know why I'm pretending that these are the things <laughs> I was interested in this week. These are what you sent me and I read in the gym this morning. And I've, I've formed an opinion about it. I hadn't even seen that picture. <laughs> it wouldn't download because there was no <laughs> signal in Pure Gym Manchester. So why don't you sort that out, actually, Pure Gym Manchester, so that I'm not there screaming and I can listen to a Holly Valance album in peace. Is that time? <laughs> no, I've still got 50 seconds. And another thing, Pure Gym, actually, why are your showers 15 <laughs> seconds at a time? Like, what are you expecting to happen there? They just time out after 15, 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Yeah, most of my workout, actually, is saving energy so I can keep <laughs> slamming that. I've actually improved my flexibility massively because I can have one foot behind me locking up on the thing as I wash so that it doesn't go off. What's the point? You're not saving water. I actually deliberately spend more time using up the water to punish you. <laughs> oh, thanks for that, Aaron. <laughs> and instead, that's celebrity <laughs> showbiz news for this week. Screw you, Pure Gym. Actually, don't because I really like being a member and I want to use all of them so I get a medal. <laughs> thanks for that. I am open for sponsorship opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that. Stick around, because we have apparently a game coming up in our Game of the Week. Welcome back. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we're playing a romantic Ooza Kazoo, and this one is for our very own love bug, Erin. So off you pop. I'm so excited. Game of the Week. So, Aaron's got a kazoo and he's going to sing, or kazoo, he's going to play kazoo, um, some lovely romantic songs for me. I am. <laughs> you used a kazoo? I tried to look at it and be like, <laughs> which end do I use? Okay, right, and these are my songs. Mm. Right, I don't, I don't know if we're doing clues, but the first song is by a man, so I might not know it because I don't, I don't listen to men. Um, <laughs> me neither. It's probably my love life. I just don't like the male voice. This is why I sound like this. Um, you never know. <clears throat> Just prepare my instrument. <laughs> okay, I can, no, sorry, I can do it. <sighs> oh, hang on. <sighs> so, so you put the big end in your mouth. You put the big end. Oh, <laughs> you um, put the big end in your mouth, do you? <laughs> and you kind of. Well, that's what Trey said. <laughs> and you kind of. I prefer to, to work my way up. To be honest, <laughs> I find you get much better results. Um, and you kind of I, want to hum a little bit into it. Oh, you don't just blow? No, you don't just blow. That last note, though, that was 
<laughs> oh dear me. Um, do you need any sort of assistance? You're having a thesia? No, I am living, I am giving romance. I am giving, this is the wedding song that every basic white bitch has. Oh, all of me, John Legend. Yes, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, let's, let's try another one. Okay. Right, this one is, oh God, they really picked the basic ones. Okay, right, I can do this. Big end. Big end. No, I tried the big end and then I was told little end. Do no, you know what? Ignore them. It's all rubbish. Uh, a what? Okay, oh, hang on, we'll do that one then. This one I know, this one I know, right, okay. God, it takes so much breath. <laughs> I feel like I'm really doing my breath work here. I feel like the dancing and the movement. I understand Beyonce now. <laughs> okay, so I think this is possibly one of the best girl great groups of the 90s. No, I'm sorry, it's not. <laughs> I couldn't think of an atomic kitten. I tried to think really quickly of a bam that, yeah. I'm sorry, I screwed up that joke myself. I shit on your line. Go that's again. okay, that's perfectly fine. So it, I'm gonna, it is the, the, the best girl group of the 90s, Bananarama. <laughs> it's absolutely, yes. That was Bananarama, um, Walk Like an Egyptian, the most romantic song <laughs> known to man. That's Venus. what that was. Venus is a romantic song. Uh, is it? Yeah. I thought it was just a shaving commercial. <laughs> no, no. That's Do you know that Jennifer Lopez actually did a recover cover of Venus well, um, like... for Gillette for a razor? That's disturbing me. Yeah. I don't really think J-Lo should be a covers artist. I personally, I always sing Jennifer Lopez songs at karaoke because, like, I can't hit the notes, but neither can she, so <laughs> no one will know it's the difference. I think the only song I, I enjoyed of hers was when she duetted with um, LL Cool J. Oh, yeah. Um, control myself. Oh, hang on. <laughs> that one was a freebie. That wasn't even on the list. Uh, I'm not saying um, I'm not going to take up the kazoo full time, but okay. I'm pretty sure music is not the genre for me. And now I understand why I became a comedian. Okay, cool. Have we got another song for you to get through then? Oh, do you want one more? I've okay. got oh, a couple more. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so tired! This is an exhausting game! How does Beyonce do dancing. a whole tour? I don't know that you're the only person I know that does dancing. Most people just sit there and go, do, 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 do. Mate, I'm an all round performer. You are, you are That's giving why. it 100%. I will not do the one at the bottom there because someone has spelled heart wrong. Yeah, you're right. 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 You're that um, are on a long journey, but they've, they've divorced and split up, and it's about how they then suddenly start falling in love with each other while they're stuck in the, I don't know, the Indian desert. I don't even know if there is a desert in India. I do know that my boyfriend broke up with me while I was in India, and it was f***ing brutal. Anyway, this one goes out to him. <laughs> Here. Imagine me bold. I like ending on the big notes. Okay. Um, I want to say, Sinead O'Connor, nothing compares to you. Was that right? 
Oh, you, you, I didn't know that was a complete sentence. Because you said, I want to say... I want to say... Sinead O'Connor, yeah. nothing compares to you. As if... But you were going to say something else. No, I wasn't going to say something. That's just what I want to say. Is yeah, like, just... you should want to say it. Because that was an identical... That was exactly what it is. Nice. Okay, cool. Okay, Bruno Mars. I don't know anything by him. I refuse to indulge. Oh, this next one, I do know this. Okay. Um, how does it go? <laughs> no, I do know it. It's um, it's a big hit. I know it. Um, okay, hang on. Oh! Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh just, do you know what it is? It's one of those ones. Now, now, all I can think is, and you'll get this when you you get the reference, I can't picture the song. All I can think of is um, the artist typing a text message into an Excel spreadsheet and wondering why she's not getting Dilemma, a response. Nelly, Nelly and, and Kelly Rowe. Yeah, I know, but yeah. I want to do it because it's a very good one. Uh, okay, okay, I got it. I've already guessed it because you told me you were texting X in Excel. I know. But that, that's that. But Isn't yeah. it wild to think of a time like what people don't realise is Kelly Rowland releasing that song and it being so big was such a big moment that Beyonce had to delay the release of her debut album by a year so it didn't clash with Kelly Rowland. Correct. Because they thought it would affect the sales and that it would be the fans would be split. Mm -hmm. Like people always talk about like Kelly, oh Kelly Rowland, she's nothing. But at one point in this world, Kelly Rowland had the power to derail and delay Beyonce. Mm -hmm. And I just think Kelly Rowland is really the true icon of our yeah. time. That's the dilemma that Beyonce had. I was gonna say, but the other one wasn't. Oh, no, let's put some respect let's some, put some respect on poor Michelle's name, right? There is nothing poor about Michelle. She came into a band that were already selling out. She didn't have to do all of the hard work, singing in malls and going around shopping centres and signing loads of stuff. She came in when the hits were already there. She didn't have to write them. She didn't have to write any of the late hits. Beyonce did that. She came in, she sang. She wore a little slit up leopard pink dress in the jungle for Survivor. She sang her little heart. She didn't even need to sing the verses. She only ever came in at the bridge. She was absolutely banging. Nothing poor about Michelle. She made money. And on that fun rant, um, stick around because coming up next, we're going to get all up and close with Erin in Spotlight. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. So we've tested his showbiz knowledge and he's blown his instrument without any assistance from anybody. <laughs> so now let's get into his inner workings as we talk to Aaron in Spotlight. So, you're a comedian. I am. They know that now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All this time you've been sat there going, who is this clown? Who is this guy? Yeah. Um, I am. And, and you're known for being hilarious on stage. Oh, that's, that's very kind of yeah. you. I've been to a couple of your gigs. Yes. Yeah, I'm over many years. I've been going so long, yeah, haven't many, I? many, many years. Oh, do you know what? I remember <laughs> when I started, like, the dream was always to be like, do you remember, like, when we were growing up, it was all, like, the hot 30, hot, hot 30 under 30, hot 30 mm -hmm. under, And, like, I don't know, I always thought, like, you had to make it big, like, really, mm -hmm. really quick, otherwise you've completely failed. And now I am just a relic on the scene. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a relic of the comedy industry that goes around like a wise and old crook, just with all these new ones around. Oh, oh, you could do it that way. But I remember in my day when we used to have a forum where you got your gigs <laughs> on a website. Really? Yeah, you t it's, it's, so much has changed. Like, when I started gigging, you didn't even have Google Maps. <laughs> I don't know how we got to, and I'm like, you know, obviously I had, we had the internet and stuff. I don't know how people when they were gigging in the 90s. They used to drive around with maps. I don't know how they got to gigs. <laughs> okay. Don't know either. Um, but yeah, so you've been going for, for we're going to say, a while. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, we don't count years, but, you know. <laughs> I, I, um, I was started when Mariah was still having hits that were on a Christmas. <laughs> When she was on her first boobs. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Mariah's not had boobs. Are you telling me that Mariah's not had boobs? 
I thought she just had a very sturdy bra. <laughs> it's a very sturdy bra made of silicone and a surgeon's knife. Anyway, I had no I, idea. I, I, I don't like Mariah. Oh, I, really don't like I will stand Mariah till the day I that, die. She's given us so much. This is this is what my comedy falls on. Really, is picking women and just refusing to let them go. Okay, like the sugar babes. The sugar babes, I can't <laughs> let go. The the everyone is mad about the OG three. But I only care about the final three. Okay. They're like you know the survivors of a scream movie. I'm like, make sure Heidi and Jade are fed. I don't care too much for a male, but I'm sure she's fine. But I don't know who any of those people are. <laughs> Why am I on this show? You know, I, I said to myself, Aaron, the audience for you is out there. I don't think they're in this room. <laughs> I remember the original Sugar Babes. Yeah, it was that's song about... That means you are kind of my audience. Yeah. yeah. Well, I... they're not the original now. They're the back ones, aren't they? The real... I, they Why are we talking about the Sugar Babes? I'm here to promote myself. <laughs> Aaron you? Twitching. Yes. Um... <laughs> this is why I'm terrible at shows like this. Because I'm meant to be promoting me. And all I do is be like, do you remember Talisa? She was robbed. <laughs> Well, she was. So, um, you do a lot of gigs up and down the country. I do. Have you got anything coming up soon? I do. I have a new show. So, my new show is going on tour at um, comedy festivals oh. um, and arts festivals. It's called Himbo um, because that's what people think I am. They think I'm just this dumb, pretty, handsome, kind, humble uh, <laughs> person. And I guess it is. I wanted to do a fun show. I think. Comedy's got very serious. Mm -hmm. I haven't done like a full length show since before the pandemic. So what's that like okay. 20, 2019 when I was last in Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously a lot's happened. Um, and I had written a show about love. Like I'd written okay. a big show about love because I love love. Like mm -hmm. I love love the way gays love taking a picture of three middle aged women and being like, that's my favorite lineup of the sugar babes. <laughs> <laughs> so I like, I love it. And I was in love and I think it's important as well, especially like in, um, the queer community. It's a very gay show. Like, if you're not gay, that's fine. You won't notice. I will. <laughs> um, like, there is a lot of gay stuff, but it's also, like, it's me being accessible to people. Mm -hmm. But I think, like, especially in the gay community, like, you don't see a lot of role models of, like, people in long-term relationships, do mm -hmm. you, I think? And especially, like, if you grew up in the era like we did, and it's particularly the generations that came before us, people maybe didn't live that long to be able to have those yeah. sort of relationships as well. So I wrote this show, um, and then it left me... <laughs> I thought I shouldn't do that, really. It'd be a bit insincere. Um, Which so, I've not done the entire show and gone, oh, and by the way. Plot <laughs> twist. <laughs> it would have just been a really crazy way to try and win him back. <laughs> um, I think there would have been a lawsuit. Oh, yeah. um, so, like, he shattered my heart. So I thought, well, what I'm going to do is just shatter the show. So the show is in pieces, which doesn't sound very organised. But it's like... Um, the audience get to choose their own adventure with it, really. So there's like lots of different topics okay. on stage, and then we'll, and then the audience get to choose which ones we talk. So it's like kind of different every night. I'm like, it's fun. We're all gonna have fun. <laughs> like, choose. Yeah, but I'm not allowed to legally say that actually. Okay. <laughs> so it's not. A, it's definitely not a choose your own adventure. It's definitely not like that. It's a pick your path comedy. Okay, it's a pick your path comedy. Yeah. I'll bleep that. It's fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think I'm pretty sure legally I'm not allowed to say that. Okay, cool. Just like I'm not illegally allowed to talk about Mucha Buena anymore. No, no, that's fine. I'm friends with her aunt. Um, <laughs> that was a really bad name drop. Yeah, <laughs> that's so terrible. Who's, who's, the most, who's the most celeb you've got in your phone? I've got Mucha Buena's aunt. <laughs> Speed style. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, why not? Look, but I like, that's what I think I like most about me um, is that, yeah, I'm like low level, but I'm dead good and I've been around this industry for ages. Like, I know all of the little secrets, but like at the lowest level, I don't care about the people at the top. Okay. I've got other more famous people on my phone, but I'm more excited about Butcher Buenos Up because I think it's <laughs> hilarious. Yes, very much. Um, and, and you're not just a comedian on stage, you are a wordsmith too. Oh, I've just written a book. You've just written a book? I've written a book, Mike. Oh. I have written as many books in the last year as I've read. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very much like Victoria Beckham. The only book I've read is my own. OK. Um, <laughs> no, well, I did um, a podcast a few years ago during the lockdown mm -hmm. times. Um, I did a podcast about sort of like queer issues um, and I was really excited about it and we tried to sell it to the BBC but the BBC didn't want to bloody know so I thought screw you BBC mm -hmm. I'll do it on my own like everything I've got to be a hustler okay. so um, <clears throat> we did the podcast it was very successful got in the top 10 on Apple
Liverpool podcast. Well done. Wedge between Michelle Obama and Nicole Byer. Thank you very much. That was a lovely little threesome. Um, and I really enjoyed, I don't know about you, but I found, like, when I was growing up, like, we, we both grew up under Section 28, mm-hmm. where you weren't allowed to talk about um, gay or homosexual things in school. So we didn't have any education about that. Yeah. And I think we talk about queer culture as, like, a culture... But like with any other culture, like say you're you're like Jamaican or you're Jewish, like that culture is handed down through through your family, isn't it? Yeah. Because you, you, that's probably why you're you're in that, mm-hmm. and so you sort of learn about it as you're growing up. It's sort of passed down, and we don't normally find our sort of culture families until mm-hmm. till we're older and we've come out, and then that's when you meet like the older people and you make friends, and and then you share it that way. I just think it's so difficult because we miss out on so much stuff, and I think. I don't know about other people, but I was really embarrassed to ask about things. Like, if you don't understand what Section 28 is, you don't understand what Stonewall is. Mm-hmm. So this podcast was all about making that really accessible, but keeping it really fun. So it's like talking about these issues. And I love a little deep dive. Like I'm dead into gossip and like I want to find out all the little stories about it and also find out how celebrities were involved. So it's sort of social issues made fun and then lots of sugar babes in it. All six of them. All six of them. I actually don't know if that's true. I can't remember. I haven't read it for a while. <laughs> you write these things, then you part them, then they go to the editor and then you have to rewrite them. And I can't remember what I bloody said anymore. <laughs> cool. I was going to say I don't remember what I had for breakfast, but I haven't had breakfast because this show's been going on forever. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm having a lovely time. Cool. Um, so when's the book out? The book is out for pre-order now. So you can pre-order the e-book. I hate the publishing world. You can pre-order the e-book now. Woo. And that's the bit that we promote. Go and get yours now. It's only 2 99 That's less than the price of a coffee, <clears throat> depending where you go. Oh, and wait. then the paperback uh, that comes from? out. Get the pre-order from? From Amazon. Or best go to my website, because Amazon are trying to... The, right, this is hilarious. My name is Twitchin. T-W... It's like kitchen with a T-W, right? Not like bitchin, I-N-G. So T-W-I-T-C-H-E-N. You put that into Amazon and they're like, no, nah, I think you got that wrong. <laughs> they autocorrect <laughs> it to I-N-G. OK, so I wouldn't try and Google it. Um, so you can get it from my website, very humbly titled, as we said, www.iloveerin.co.uk. Never .com. I don't want to go global. Um, yeah, and you can order. And then the paperback is out May 5th, just in time for Pride Month. Nice. I was thinking of releasing in Pride Month, but then I thought, crowded market. Mm-hmm. So I'm doing what Victoria Beckham did with her solo singles and just leaking it in that last week of Jan- that first week of January where no one's selling and then just trying to get it then when, when no, when there's no competition. Um, and if people want to see you on stage, where are you going to be? Um, I am all over the country. I'm definitely in Brighton. I'm at Cam- uh, Brighton Festival. I'm at Cambridge Festival. I'm in Glasgow. Um, and then there's lots of other dates. And you can find all of them, would you believe, at my website, www.iloveerin.co.uk. Perfect. Well, thank you very much. Thank uh, you. And I'm sure that we'll be hitting up your, your website quite soon for some pre-orders. Yes, please do. Because I checked the pre-order sales yesterday and they are at zero. But I think that's because Amazon doesn't update. <laughs> but it was a depressing moment. Because I, I knew I'd bought it. <laughs> so I was like, I think there's something wrong here. Copies. Why is that like <laughs> Well, no, that's the problem with ebook. I can only buy one, can't I? Oh. Can't wait till the publishing comes. I don't know why I'm buying them. I've got them. I wrote the bloody... I'm not going to read it. <laughs> cool. Thank you very much. That's almost the end of the show. Just remember to join us on our social media at The Cud TV. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye.